I will tell you the difference. When I don't meal prep or when I don't have something quick and easy to just pull out of the refrigerator to heat up for myself, I'm like, mm, well, there's chicken nuggets. Let me have a few chicken nuggets or let me just pick off of Eli's plate. And then, um, Eli, honey, we're, we're recording, recording, we're right, recording now. right now. Can you go play with Sissy? Elijah, no, 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 away from the camera, please. <laughs> Yeah. Seeing my nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> I have my I have my mama goals every day to keep me going. My mama. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Three One Seven One's podcast. My name is Tim, and I'm Jody. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about just how you balance things with your schedule yeah. and with your fitness. Right. So let's go ahead and jump right let's in. Go. So the first question I want to ask you is how do you balance your fitness as a busy mom? And just share a little bit like what your schedule looks like and yeah. more of the details on that. Yeah. So I think for me, I don't really have, like I have a schedule, but it is a loose schedule. So right. as a as a mom, a working mom, um, I only work part time, but I'm still working and um I don't always, I mean, ideally, right, you'd lift three times a week. I'd be in the gym. I would do kind of like you do, you know, you do mm -hmm. chest and back, you do arms, you do legs, you have that all kind of portioned out. But I don't always get to do that, right? So some weeks, because I'm a personal trainer, some weeks are a lot busier than other right. weeks. Some I don't have as many clients, other, and I could work out four times a week in the gym. Other times I don't have really any time. Mm -hmm. um, so I think for me with fitness and the busyness of being a mom or there are times obviously when the kids are sick, I can't even get yeah. to the gym. I have multiple plans in mind, right? So it's not just if I can't get to the gym, then that's it. I'm not doing anything. Right. Um, or if I don't have an hour to work out, I, you know, it's not going to be good. I tailor it back. So, mm -hmm. Um, I always tell people like, come with your plan A, B, and C. Yeah. Like don't just have plan A and that's it. Right. And if you can't do it, you're not going to do anything. Yeah. Um, for busy parents, you know, you, it's still so important for us to get our workouts in so we can keep our energy up so we can be there for our kids. Mm -hmm. So for me, it is if the schedule only has a half an hour in there, then I'm probably going to do some sprint interval training on the row machine and then um, maybe I'll lift a little, yeah. but probably just going to do cardio, right? For a half yeah. hour. And, and no, I noticed yeah. you were telling me sometimes you do that in between your sessions too. Yeah. If like, let's say a client doesn't show up, mm -hmm. you use that time actually to get your cardio in. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's just going to be me standing around, right. you know, and I don't have much other time during the week to work out, I'm going to do something because one, I'm in a gym. So I have no excuse. If right. I have a half an hour, there's no excuse. I could go in a half an hour. I could do five different exercises at fairly diff decent weight right. and then be ready to go with my next client. So you're, you're optimizing your time. Is, right. I think that's probably key as a busy mom. Right. Right. Oh, no, you have to do that. And then like, and because I'm in a gym, right, I have that. I, I get that that's a privilege for me and it's easier for me to work right. out. But um, I also, if I have sick kids, we have equipment here at home, right? Or there's been times where... I could do a um, like a little cardio dance video because I like yeah. doing cardio dance at home. Me so too. yeah, <laughs> you just like watching me be silly. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I can do that, and the kids enjoy doing that as well. So um, I think it's really important as a busy parent that you just don't come into fitness with one plan in mind. This right. is what I'm going to do, and if I can't do this, then you know you don't do anything at all. It's you got your gym workout, your ideal gym workout in your mind. You've got your less than ideal gym workout. You've got your quick session in the gym. Mm -hmm. You've got your quick session at home. Um, or you've got the, it's super hectic, but I can still take a 15 minute walk today. Yeah. You know, there's different things that you can do to continue yeah. moving. And I think it's really important to not just get in your head to stick to one plan. Yeah. So I guess going to the next question, yeah. some of the challenges that you see moms deal with is the schedule or just using the time wisely, right? right? So you already explained mm -hmm. one of the ways to solve that. Any other challenges that you see that moms have? With fitness, yeah, I think, I don't, I think it is easy for us to 
use excuses. I'll, I'll right. just be honest. It, it really is because we can get pretty overwhelmed with kids. Yep. If you're a full-time working mom, um, you know, you're working eight hours a day. You're dropping kids off. You're picking yep. kids up. You've got to cook a meal because maybe your husband works 50 to 60 hours a week, yep. you know, and you've got a lot going on. You've got a, the house to take care of and a lot of responsibility. It's a it, lot. Yeah, there's a lot on your plate and it can get really overwhelming mentally. Um, so I think... I know for me, because I've done it, I will use that like, mm, nope. Like I don't have the mental energy to put myself mm-hmm. through a workout. Um, and I th- think for that, you have to you have to have the narrative in your head that working out creates more energy. Yeah. You have to remember that, that working out on the other side of that workout, you're going to feel so much better. Oh, yeah. um, so I think one, it's important to have accountability partner, like someone that's going to say, you know, whenever you feel like, no, I can't do this. I'm just so overwhelmed that they're, they're not going to be like, oh, oh, that's okay. You're fine. <laughs> you need that sometimes, but you also need someone that's going to be like, is that really what you need? Or do you need to move your body in yep. order to feel better? So I think we as busy moms can fall into the excuse trap a little yep. bit um, when we feel overwhelmed, but we have to remind ourselves that we will feel a lot better generally right. when we work out. Um, there that's, are exceptions oh, to yeah. that, but that's true. Yeah. Cause like when I get off of work and I feel exhausted or feel tired Mm -hmm. because I've been up since four the last thing I'll do is go to the gym and work out but every time that I go I just get another right wind you know so I I get more energy and then I'm able to come home in a positive Mm -hmm. positive mindset and I'm not tired and I'm not feeling like crap so I do know working out after every time I've I've done it I feel so much better right and it's not just the physical energy that you get you do get that boost but it's also the dopamine it's the serotonin it's all the good the good for you like emotions and feelings that you get from a workout and so what I'm talking about is not just any workout it's a workout that you also enjoy so it may be that you're a busy mom and you feel really overwhelmed and it might be a half hour yoga session that you do but as long as you move your body and stretch your body you're doing something good for yourself and it might just be that that's a little mental health break for you as well so yeah you can generally find something to do it might be that you have 18 million children at home and your Mm -hmm. spouse is working their third job of the day and you don't get any alone time take those 18 million children and go for a walk if you can or get out in the backyard you know just do something to move your body but i think we can we can always find something to do um movement wise so what kind of workouts do you enjoy doing as a busy mom um, I really like, so if I don't have a lot of time, legs, I, I really enjoy working out legs. I always focus on bigger muscle groups if I don't have a lot of time to lift in the gym for the week. Okay. Um, so I always look at my week ahead of time to see what, you know, I'm playing out when I'm going to get my workout in. Yeah. Um, and so the days that I have more time, I probably will hit a longer leg session mm-hmm. just because... I want those are my goals personally is to strengthen my legs and my lower body. So you're um, not you're not afraid of lifting weights. No. No, okay. I'm not afraid of lifting weights. And that's I mean, I was until I met you yeah. and then I asked you to be my personal trainer and then you showed me how to lift in the gym. And then being a personal trainer, I also worked with other one other personal trainers in the gym and yeah. they kind of helped me feel more comfortable. But I helped you the most. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did, honey. You are the best. And then you fed me. I did. I fed you chicken and I don't even know. It was a keto meal and you loved it. Anyways, and here we are four years later. Um, But uh, yeah, so I'm not afraid to lift weights because it's... Well, let's... Yeah. Why do you... Like, I mean, why do you think women are afraid? Like, I know that... Go ahead. You, you, you yeah, it's the it. normal. I mean, the normal myth that you hear that, and I, I mean, I hear it face to face with with women are like, I don't want to be bulky like yeah. a man. And, and it's... Um, I probably would have thought that back in the day, but now that I understand the body and I know the differences between your growth hormone and my growth hormone and your testosterone and my testosterone and how our bodies handle, um, lifting weights, there's no way I'm going to get the muscle growth that you have. So women should not be afraid at all of lifting weights. In fact, there, it's just coming out more and more and more. Women need to be lifting weights, especially when you're nearing per- perimenopause and menopause because yeah. your body is changing so much. You want to build as much muscle as you possibly can um, for your metabolism, for your hormones, just to have a stronger body overall because yeah. as we get older, women tend to have osteoporosis too, well, so you yeah. need that. And as, as for men too, we yeah. start oh, to yeah. lose testosterone as we get older too. So that's why like right. 
there's so many men right now, which is the way they're eating, already have lost so much testosterone. Right. And oh, yeah. I can tell you right now that like, I, I don't need any right. test boost. I don't need anything because right. I, I eat, eat decent, I eat good, and I also work out right. intense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just listening to a podcast that was saying some crazy stats about how there are a lot of men that are really low on testosterone right. and that's going to impact fertility numbers in the future and a bunch crazy. of crazy stuff. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Um, so our bodies are different. And right. so we should, as women, we should have no fear of getting bulky and muscly like a man. And if you see women that are big and bulky like that, bodybuilders, we're t- and this is... We're talking about women that lift in the gym yep. and bodybuilders. Very different. We're talking very, very different things here. Um, those women, a lot of times, one, they are on a strict nutrition plan. They're on a strict lifting plan. And you don't necessarily know if they're also taking something to right. boost their ability to grow more muscle. Most of them are. Yeah. Um, so when you're just natural and you're just going to the gym and lifting, please do not be afraid to lift weights. And you don't have to just do it free weights and stuff, crazy stuff. You can just be on machines too and build quite a bit of muscle. But it also helps lose weight a lot faster than just doing cardio. Yes. We we know, we've known that. Like, yeah. Yeah, because when you're lifting weights, you're actually, you're creating more muscle and more muscle means you're going to burn more calories the more muscle you have at rest. Cardio, you have to be moving in order to burn calories, Mm -hmm. whereas muscles are going to continue to burn calories when you're just like right here, boom, I'm burning calories because (laughs) I got more muscle, right? Right, You're burning calories and that's why we eat. We tend to eat quite a bit more is because our metabolism is higher. We eat the right foods. Right. That too, yeah. Yeah, so I guess let's talk about how you structure nutrition as a busy mom, I know that you have, yeah. you know, I know you prep for the kids. You prep, yeah. like today, you actually, you prepped yesterday for Yeah, I prepped kids. last night at yeah, like 8 which, o'clock. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and share a little bit more like how you do it, the kids as well as with yourself. Yeah, so I, the kids, I mean, I'm not as strict on, but I do make sure they are having whole grains. They're having a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit and things like that. And when I prep for our daughter who goes to school and when I prep for our son too, then it, one, that reduces a lot of stress out of my week. So that's more of a mental health boost for me because I don't have to worry about what I'm going to feed the kids throughout the week. It's already done. Time saver. It's already planned. She's got her Chobani yogurt that she likes. She's got her pasta dish that she likes and I'm going to throw in a fruit or whatever. And some vegetables in there too. Yeah. So she's, it's the same kind of thing. We, we talk to her, we ask her what she wants when we plan out the menu, we get it all set. We're all good for the week. Um, same thing with the little guy. Like when I come home from work, I know exactly what I'm going to throw on his tray. Um, so he's done there. Um, for me, I also plan it out too because I don't have a lot of time to prep things yeah. in the middle of the day. Um, sometimes I'm not getting home till two o'clock in the afternoon. And you keep so, it simple too. You keep your meals yes. pretty simple. The kids' meals pretty simple. Yeah, it's usually like a one pot thing. Like this week was one that I really love, which is yeah. just ground turkey, onion, sweet potato, and kale. And then you throw some goat cheese on the top of it Ooh. when you heat. It. It's really really <laughs> good. So I'm just have that in there. I'll just put it in a bowl, heat it up, throw some goat cheese on, yeah. and there's my meal. And I think so. that the way that we're successful with all this is because we actually do the grocery list together. Yes. It's not always together, but we usually, we mm-hmm. do the grocery list once a week and we, we look on different apps to mm-hmm. find recipes and yeah. and we just keep that schedule yeah. every week. Yeah, and I can tell. I will tell you the difference. When I don't meal prep or when I don't have something quick and easy to just pull out of the refrigerator to heat up for myself, I'm like, mm, well, there's chicken nuggets. Let me have a few chicken <laughs> nuggets or let me just pick off of Eli's plate or let me just have yeah. this. There's a little bit of extra pasta left. And I know that that pasta for me is not is not good. I don't need to have that many carbs in my in my meals because then I it put I put on weight quicker. Right. Um, so so, yeah, if I'm not planned out, it's not going to go well. And two, my energy is not going to be as good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so yeah. And then having protein shakes, you know, a mid morning or whatever is yeah. also a good, a good boost for me as well. So it and, keeps me going. And I think with your nutrition and just as, just like mine, you prioritize protein too. Right? Yes. Yeah. Always, always looking for protein, um, first and foremost, and then, um, really trying to be. <laughs> so as I was saying, you just like how I structure my meals you keep protein high yes in your plan too right yeah I don't I mean that's when I'm tracking I am not always tracking um, my food but through cuts and through tracking I have learned how much protein I need throughout the day so I stay pretty low carb 
Um, and then I low carb and high protein um, is generally <laughs> what I try to do um, with my meals. So, okay. so yeah. And then a lot of it too, as I would say, um, and why is that? Why why is protein such important? Oh, protein it, it's it keeps you full longer, right. so I don't have to eat as as much, or I don't feel you know hungry. Um, also, it's just for muscle growth as well. Um, I just want to make sure that I am eating as much protein as possible, so that my workouts are actually worth something yeah. that I can gain muscle. Um, so yeah, that's why I focus on protein. But another thing that I honestly focus on a lot is I don't drink a lot of sugar. Um, I drink plain water mostly all day long, black coffee. I don't put anything in my coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I do a hydration supplement because I do get in the sauna a lot. And that's been helping me with headaches and just recovery and things like that. So I do a a hydration pack with vitamins and stuff. So Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't do a lot of like, I don't do any soda. We don't, we don't do soda except these probiotic and, and prebiotic sodas. So I think that's also helpful. Um, helpful to my nutrition um as well okay well as we wrap Mm -hmm. this up yeah any other tips or anything else that you can think of that that, yeah that would be helpful for moms yeah um so it just really it comes down to sticking to a routine if you don't have a routine in place or like really good I guess time management skills it's gonna just be a little bit more challenging it's huge um one of the things we were doing the other morning is you were kind of helping me get ready I had to pack Lydia's lunch I had to pack his um snack I had to pack a lunch for him I had to pack my all my stuff in the morning plus get breakfast ready for everybody and I was just talking to you and I was like 7 30 the kitchen closes like I have a time goal every morning from 7 to 7.30, everyone's getting breakfast, everything's getting packed, and I'm cleaning up and I'm getting out of yeah. the kitchen in a half an hour so I can go get ready for the day. And those little tricks really help me out a lot. I Easy mean, time, time frames. Yes. So I, it's just kind of like, okay, then I look at the clock and I'm like, I got nine minutes left. Yeah. Like I got to get this, 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 make sure the kids got everything they need for breakfast. And then I, I you know, I'm done. I know that may, you're laughing, it may sound a little silly, but it helps keep well, me I mean, on I'm track. Not- I'm not there, but like right. when I am there, I'm, I'm, um, I see how much you do. So right. I, yeah, I can definitely see that you have certain things right. that you have to get done in that morning. And that's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, as a busy mom, if you have those little mental, I guess, little tricks for yourself of this is when I need to be out of the kitchen. I, I mean, I even tell Lydia kitchen closes at seven thirty. Like if you want anything <laughs> else for breakfast, you got to <laughs> yeah. tell me now. Um, yeah. and then I also do that, I guess, for myself when it comes to my weight and my like just body composition. Like in my head, I have a ceiling weight, right? So (laughs) there we go. Yeah, so I have a ceiling and I've always had that. I don't know what that is. And that's kind of, I guess, weird maybe for some people. But I do have like if I get close to, um, I do feel like if I get close to a certain weight, then I need to be adjusting my nutrition. Yeah. I need to be looking at that. So um, I guess I, I have these little stop gaps in my head that help me kind of go about my day and, and just keep me on track. Good. So yeah. So they're go- I guess they're goals of some sort, but it's it's daily. Yeah. Hello, mama. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I have my I have my mama goals every day to keep me going. Mama, mama. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. keep us going. So yeah. yeah. All right, Mama. I think we're probably going to end it right here. <laughs> yeah, I think so it's probably getting little, close little, to bedtime. Little, little guy just snuck in here, so yeah. he's with us right now. But anyways, guys, Mama. hopefully you learned some things from a busy mom that is yeah. into fitness. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, make sure you leave in the comments below. Head over to 317106.com to check out any of our free resources as well as what we offer as services. And we will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace. Yeah.